Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. Enzo Maresca faced the media for the final time in Chelsea's tour of the United States following defeat to Real Madrid. Danny Ceballos opened the scoring for Los Blancos early on, and it was quickly 2-0 when Brahim Diaz rounded Philip Jorgensen and slid the ball in from a tight angle. Noni Maduk replied just before halftime, but that turned out to be the final goal of the match in Charlotte. Maresca faced a media scrum following the full-time whistle and was asked about a variety of subjects. Take a moment to like the video if you are enjoying the content. Subscribe to the channel if you are bumping here for the very first time. Here's every word Enzo Maresca said to the press after another lose on the card. Tell us about the high line. It's a problem we are trying to solve from preseason, since day one. One of my first meetings with the squad was about the amount of goals we conceded last year with the defensive line very high. It's something we are trying to work on. Today, offensively, we are there. The patterns are there. We created chances. The problem is defensively. When I say defensively, I don't just mean the defensive line, but in general, all the players. Overall, now it's finished. We head back to London. We have Inter and then an official game. Is the squad too big? We try to do our best. Here, we had around 30 players, but I think we work quite well in terms of managing the situation. We will try to do the same when we're back there, in England. Ideally, would you like it to be smaller? At this moment, the players that are here, it's okay. We are going to have Cole Palmer and Mark Cucurella there at Cobham. It's just two more players. The rest, I think are doing something apart. Is Enzo Fernandez the vice captain? Enzo is one of the important players. To be honest, I think Reese James. When we changed him, he gave the armband to Enzo. This shows how Enzo is respected inside the squad. I think it's quite clear. Was Broja left out because he was injured or because he could be sold? No, it was just a decision. He was not injured, luckily for him and for us. Do you expect him to be sold in the next week or two? In this moment, we will see what happens. Will Nicholas Jackson, Cole Palmer, and Mark Cucurella be ready for the Inter Milan game or the Man City game? We will see. I'm not sure for Inter. Hopefully the City game. They are all important players. Between Cole and Nicholas last year, they scored almost 40 goals, so they are both very important. And Mark, too. The important thing is they start with us, and soon we can use them. When you go back to England, how important is it that you get the defense right? Any team wants to do something, they want to win games and compete. They have to work in the right way defensively. It's difficult when you concede one goal or two, always starting behind. Today, again, for the first five minutes, we had two clear chances. When you concede and you are 1-0 behind, 2-0 behind, it becomes difficult. But overall, in terms of the things we are doing, we are improving and I'm quite happy. How did you feel Nkunku play today? For me, he played a very good game. We are trying to use him as an attacking midfielder and a striker, depends on the moment. Also, we are using him as a striker today because Mark Guiu was tired at the end. It's normal but overall, the important thing for Christo, we are able to contact with him between the lines. Today we contact with Christo and Enzo Fernandez many, many times between the lines. This is the most important thing, to arrive there, and with time we will take chances and score more goals. Can you explain the high line? It's a habit. We are not working on defensive lines so high. It's a habit from last year, or years ago, I don't know. We are trying to drop the defensive line a little bit, usually about 4 or 5 meters, just to have some advantage. Last year, we already conceded many goals with this problem. Hopefully we can solve it very soon. That's all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later with another one. Until then, bye-bye.